Hypertension or high blood pressure is a huge and hidden killer. South Africa now has the highest rate of hypertension in people over 50 for any country in the world ever. It took a heart attack to get entrepreneur Bimla Singh to pay attention to her condition. And I found I was always getting headaches and I wasn't seeing very clearly. And then uh, at night when I used to sleep, I used to hear this doof, 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 doof. I used to he actually feel my heart. I didn't take any notice of it. And this is why I like to tell people, you know, when things like that happen, go and get yourself checked out. I had this heart attack 15 years ago, and fr I know that I had high blood pressure before that. And uh, I think that doof, 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 I don't know, I'm not a doctor, I never even tell the doctors about it. That's something that's probably one of the symptoms. But I also found out that I had very high cholesterol as well. And that's the day I decide, no, I'm taking charge of my life. I started doing yoga, exercises, and special Indian breathing exercises. And I found myself. I found things changing in my life. I found I was standing straight up, walking straight up. I got my confidence back. I do eat meat, but very little, but I have lots and lots of vegetable. I love my fruit. If you change your lifestyle, that's the very important aspect of treatment of hypertension. You exercise, you stop smoking, you stop taking alcohol excessively, and you eat right. And that person, if they follow everything that you say, they come back and you have normal blood pressures and you don't even have to start treatment. Most people with hypertension don't have symptoms, so undiagnosed high blood pressure can cause organ damage without the sufferer knowing. 50% of South Africans with hypertension don't know they've got it. Half of those have access to treatment and medication, and only half of those are reliably following their treatment. And when I came to the clinic, the clinic said that it is true that you are suffering from uh, I had that and, uh, and the sugar. I was six months pregnant and I went for my checkup and doctor told me you got a high blood pressure. I walk also a lot, very fast, briskly, so I say. Eh? And, uh, but I still have a problem with eating. My wife cooks nice food. Eh? You know, the sad thing about hypertension is that the person will not have any symptoms until it has caused damage in your body or when it's very high. Um, they would come with headaches, they would come with general body malaise, they would come with tiredness, and depending on the organ that has been damaged, if it's kidneys, obviously they would come with fluid overload or uncontrolled hypertension. When it goes to the brain, it damages your blood vessels. So if you have too much pressure in your blood vessels, you can even get strokes in your head. Hypertension in South Africa is something that is underrated. It be it you are hypertensive or you are not hypertensive, your salt intake should be low. It doesn't matter. And salt intake is not only the salt that you, you, you add in your food. There are many things that contain salt, especially carbohydrates. Your, your, your bread, for example, has so much salt in it. You're not supposed to be eating more than a teaspoon. If there is less salt in your diet, you're decreasing your cardiovascular risk by 20%. Most people would think that hypertension affects only the old. So we're seeing more and more young people because of obesity getting hypertension. If I work on just one night shift, the bulk of patients I see, I see patients who have complications. Not patients who are presenting with hypertension only, no. I'm seeing the complications of hypertension, of which it's something that can be prevented. Over the next few years, the government is reducing the amount of salt allowed in processed foods to help us all battle the hypertension epidemic. But the choice of living a healthier life is ultimately up to each of us. I'd like to tell all the women out there, the medication for cholesterol and high blood pressure and diabetes, please take it every day. We're supposed to be wiser. And the thing is this, if something's wrong, try and fix it or contain it or do something about it. I needed to walk, so I used to run, run for the bus and walk to the shop. And that's how I keep myself healthy. And I'm, I'm stronger today than I was then. And I found that, no, I've got to take responsibility. Everybody's got to take responsibility for their health. If you don't have your health, you've got nothing. <laughs>